Ah, uh, how you doing, guys? Welcome. So, uh, here's a story. What the fuck, man? Where is everybody? Julian Assange just cutting a deal with the United... You were the U.S. Uh, Intelligence Committee. <laughs> Some shit going on. You saw that? All right, let me read. I'm reading from the uh, RT site. You can check it out yourself, right? Go down. I'll leave the link down below. <clears throat> U.S. Intelligence... U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee has requested that prosecuted... <laughs> See how they frame it? Prosecuted. Prosecuted WikiLeaks editor Julian Assange testify before committee staff. <clears throat> so the U.S. Intelligence Committee reached out to Julian Assange in the, in, the, in the embassy in England, the Ecuadorian embassy. The committee is investigating alleged Russian interference in the 2016 election. Uh, election. In a letter delivered to Assange at his residence at the Ecuadorian embassy in London, Committee Chairman Richard Burr, Republican from Democrat, requested that Assange make himself available for a, clo a closed interview at a mutually, quote, mutually agreeable time and location. Let's read the actual letter, all right? Actual letter is, uh, let's see, I got to get to it. <laughs> bullshit right now. All right, so the actual, actual letter, actual letter. Da, 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 passing time while I open the actual letter. So, so the actual letter reads, I want to see who it's, who actually uh, penned it. That's what's, what's most important to me, right? So the, the letter comes from James. It's the, it's the Senate Intelligence Committee, right? There is no intelligence in the Senate, but that's besides the point. James Rich, Marco Rubio. Susan Collins, Roy Blunt, James Lankford, Tom Cotton, John Cornian, Corin, yeah. Diane Feinstein, right, blah, blah, blah. Angus King, not Angus Young, Angus King. Right, here's the letter. Mr. Assange, Embassy of Ecuador, <laughs> flat, 3B, it's all down below, 3B Hans Cross, Knightsbridge, London, mate. United Kingdom. So, and it's already Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. election. See, already they're framing it. Not, is there, was there a, did someone pass you information? Was there a, um, a, a possibility that, that there was some sort of leak or hack going on? No. Russian interference. That's what, that's how the, the, the letter is framed. Dear Mr. Assange. As you are aware, the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence is conducting a bipartisan inquiry into Russian interference into the 2016 U.S. election. No such thing as bipartisan in America anymore. It's either an R and you believe in this stuff, or it's a D and you believe in that stuff. There's no fucking truth anymore. So, whatever. As part of the inquiry, the committee requests that you make yourself available for a closed interview with bipartisan committee staff at a mutual a mutually agreeable time and location please respond in writing upon receipt of this letter like he has anything else to do you guys got him fucking locked up for six years if you have any questions about this letter please contact the committee at 202-224-1700 signed burr, burr mr burr and uh, mr warner mr warner all right, so what else do we know about this? So there's the letter, right? And uh, who who actually leaked it? Who actually informed us? See, here's, here's, a, here's a little funny thing about this letter is that on WikiLeaks just put this out today. They just broke their own news, right? And uh, But the letter is addressed April 1st. So there was a full seven days in between the time the letter was written I'm sure they overnighted it. I'm sure the fucking Senate committee didn't, you know, snail mail it. You know, with a stamp on it, right? So they, they, they over, I'm sure they overnighted it to the, to the committee and he backed it with, you know, five different emails, right? But why is there a gap between August 1st, when the letter was penned and uh, apparently signed, and today when WikiLeaks breaks its own news? Breaking WikiLeaks on uh, uh, Twitter. Breaking U.S. Intelligence and uh, uh, Intelligence Committee calls editor Julian Assange to testify. 
Letter delivered via U.S. Embassy in London. WikiLeaks legal team say they are considering the offer, but testimony must conform to high ethical standards. <laughs> there are no high ethical standards anymore. It's all, it's all bullshit, right? So in the same RT letter, this is an article, you'll see um, only a month before, if you recall, the 10 Democrats uh, penned their own little letter calling for... Um, uh, Senate Intelligence Committee letter arrived in London. Ten Democrat senators sent a petition to Vice President Mike Pence demanding that the press, that he press the Ecuadorian government to revoke Assange's asylum. Signed, ten Democratic pay-for-play fuckheads, right? So this is pretty interesting. I think that, um, I think that, I think that there's a deal on the table. I think that Julian Assange has now been um, has now been bottled up for for all this time for six years of his life down the toilet, right? And you know the Democrats are still running with the idea. You know what, what are you going to find out? What what are you going to find out when you when you press uh, Assange? He's going to say there's no Russian interference. He's already cl the record is clear. He's been on the record a hundred times. Now if he if he comes out and he changes his tune. That's confirmation that Mr. Assange is cutting his own deal for his own freedom. And we might not, uh, you know, you, you, I don't know, you frown on that. I mean, the guy's locked up. He hasn't seen his kids. He's, he hasn't seen sunlight, right? He talks about that all the time. He's, he forgot what sun, sunshine looks like or feels like on his body, you know? It's like crazy. Oh, it's hot as hell in New York, man. It's like fucking... When is this heat wave? It's 90 degrees out. It's been 90 degrees for the last five days. All right, so, so Assange, in my view, I'm going to use my psychic powers on this one. Fucking psychic, psychic powers, right? Is that Julian Assange is in, has a, 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 a unique deal, right? He's got to cut a deal because nothing, nothing informative is going to come out of this talk. You're going to have one side of the room say... That he's he's a Russian spy and he's an agent and 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 the other side is going to say well Russia maybe but he's still you know he's he he's he's telling the truth right right see Julian Assange is the missing link is the link between the uh, alleged Russian interference in the election right right he's the he's the whole thing right because the the story the fake story is that the Russians came into the, to the DNC and 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 hacked the internet hacked their computers and excuse me <laughs> hacked the computers and and then took that the Russians took the information and gave it to WikiLeaks and 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 why would the fucking why would a fucking Russian government think about that for a second why would the Russian government give that kind of hot information to some jack off publisher in England you know working out of his bedroom it doesn't make sense they would clearly exploit that through RT they would give it to CNN they would exploit that shit high low and and sideways right no but the Russians the Russians came in like the story is ridiculous right the story is stupid right and I don't even think that they're they're running on that story anymore because it's so ridiculous so Julian Assange because the real story is what the DNC was up to. John Podesta, you know, the way the way they were rigging the election against Bernie Sanders. That was the whole shit, right? They had a Pied Piper strategy that they were going to elevate Donald Trump, right? And, uh, you know, because they thought that Donald Trump was an easy win. They, you know, they, they under, grossly underestimated uh, the power of a TV star, right? So... That's really what the story is about. But two years later, the Democrats are still running with this story, and they're going to run with it all the way into you know November sixth, uh, the the elections, because they think they think that this is a winning strategy, lying to the American people, making us a laughing stock uh, around the world. People look at this, and you know what it is. Also, people people abroad don't realize how just how <clears throat> intensely bombarded. Uh, American citizens are with this nonsense. You see it in the papers. Wherever you turn, is a pay-for-play TV on CNN, MSNBC, right? And you, you're almost—they're they, not me, but they're force-fed 
is bullshit. When I pass and I see Jake Tapper or or, or Anus Cooper on the on the news, I I fucking laugh. I say, "This is, look at these these guys. Are, it's it's ridiculous. Russia, Russia, Manafort, Russia. It's bull fucking shit." And uh, but but they got us talking about it. They don't. They they've they've successfully gaslighted the the issue, and uh, now it's about it's all about Russia. So all right, that's a shame. Nonetheless, I think that um, what I wanted to, to to put out there was that uh, I think Julian Assange is a is a uh, is a hero, is an international hero, not just a not just an American hero, but he's an international rock star for what he did, right? Wherever it came from, was it Seth Rich? Was it a bunch of kids inside of the DNC that decided to flip it? Very, very, very possible. Was it uh, an accidental leak through through? The Iwan brothers mis mishandling something was it some Republican senator that decided got his hands on and decided to dump it? It could have been a lot of fucking people that that threw the info of WikiLeaks. What it definitely was wasn't is a is a, 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 a an international conspiracy <laughs> by by the Russian oligarchs and government to overthrow our our elections. That's what it wasn't because the cheating and. All the cheating that we saw from 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 New York all the way to California, two million ballots thrown in the garbage in the Democratic primary, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, two hundred thousand voters purged off the rolls here in, in Brooklyn. All the, the elections were wherever there was a caucus, and Bernie Sanders and Hillary with well, a caucus with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, where you could actually see people raise their hands and and vote. Bernie Sanders wins by 87, you know, gets 87 percent of the vote. Right. But when it comes to a closed door primary where the jerk off Democrats are counting the ballots in mystery machines, then Hillary Clinton wins. So it was the, no exit polling. Well, there was exit polling, but it was grossly off. And then when they started to realize that the polling was grossly off, uh, then they they canceled the poll. They canceled the exit poll. So that was the cheating. Let's. Come clean. The Democrats are not. Are they going to come clean? Are they ever going to come clean? No. But I would say Julian Assange has a. He has an opportunity to 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 free himself, right? Cut a deal, Julian. Do it. With no one's going to frown on you. Cut a deal. Cut a deal. Don't go into that thing as Mr. Honest. We already know the truth. The truth is out, right? The truth is out. If it's closed door, you will never know what was said, right? They'll will never you'll they'll make you sign a piece of paper or oh, confidentiality right, don't fucking do it behind closed doors. Have if you're gonna negotiate negotiate, on on air negotiate live with them. That would be wonderful, right? But don't do it sh in the closed doors because you f you're playing into their hand. They've already framed it. Russian interference, right? They've already framed the discussion rather than ask you what actually happened. Which I believe, you know, we all believe you know. And as far as, you know, hiding, if you actually know who did it, right? If it was Seth Rich or if it was Braverman or whoever it was that did the, that did the actual dump, you should come clean with it, man. You should definitely, the, the, time, is, the time is now, you know what I mean? It, the, the Democratic story, right? They're they're still calling Trump a, an idiot and a fool and a and he's he's going to blow up the world. Meanwhile, that's the opposite way that the international community currently is reading Trump. They see him as look he's he's making he's 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 um, breaking ground in North Korea like no one ever like no one's business. He's 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 challenging the the, uh, the 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 currency manipulation in China he's he's opening he's extending his hand to 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 Russia to you know open those markets up he's doing all the right things he's doing all the things that a that a smart you know entrepreneurial president should do right but the Democrats all they're trying to do is frame uh, uh, they're trying to they're, they're hold they're standing on this stupid story. And, and uh, it, it, you know, of course, it's ultimately a bust. So my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube. Kindly subscribe. Very important. Thank you very much.